Welcome back to Neurovoider. Let's actually try and beat the boss this time. I know what I have to do. I know that um, we need one weapon that's pretty... Uh, we need to be dash class for that. We need one weapon that's um, accurate and pretty spammy. And we need to boost our weapons before we really uh, get into the boss fight. Actually, I want to try boosting weapons uh, more and more and more uh, as the run continues. Like if, oh my god, what have I done? Why am I rushing in there like like a freaking idiot? Oh, what I want to do is if I pick up something like, say, a light breath. Holy Christ. What is going on here? If I pick up a really good primary weapon like a light breath or something, even. Even a good pulse beam. Um, then I might just keep boosting it after a lot of levels. What am I doing? Why am I? Okay. Um, I, I was completely off the track there. Um, let's try again. Um, I should be playing this game a lot more slowly. I just did a nuclear throne. Maybe that's uh, why I'm expecting everything to die. A little bit sooner than it than it than it ever could. Okay. Um. Now, reprogram your brain for uh, Neurovoider. Taking it step by step, one bunch of enemies at a time. Good. Yeah, so if I get a light wrath or a fat beam or maybe even just a machine gun or a heavy duty plasma, that would be a really good primary. Um, I can just keep boosting it. Although, of course, there is a cap for boosting. Like you can't, you can't make your like. Um, 300 DPS weapon into a 5000 DPS weapon by boosting it over and over again. Pulse Shocker could be one such weapon that we might want to use for a little longer. That's uh, something I, I should also consider rather uh, like as an alternative option to crafting weapons when I don't like what I got on one level just for example I uh, let's let's assume I decide I want to use this uh, cold shocker for for the next level and then on the next level I, I just get shit that I don't want want to use and I could just uh, boost the cold shocker instead of crafting a new weapon <coughs> oh. excuse me there's a very, a very um, unexpected and violent sneeze coming in there. See, unexpected a sneeze is the deadliest. Let's go ahead and equip this. Um. That one's not really better. We could also boost this. How much does it cost? 440. It'll only give me four more EP. It's not worth it. Uh, that's better. It's an auto gun. I want a uh, polo shocker. Which one is best? This one. Don't want the twin plasma shooting. Don't want the long frame for her. Don't want the auto guns at all. I think I'm gonna go with the rocket launcher as the secondary weapon. Uh, actually, that seems really good. I'm gonna be 
boosting this right now. So just does it cost now 845? That is gonna make this pulse shocker into a really strong weapon for this very next level. Controlling these guys was expected. We did get another full shocker. Okay, take it slow. Take a break. Have a break. Have a Kit Kat. And uh, try and reposition you. So, what? How much range do they have? They can shoot me from places I can't see them. They can shoot me from off the screen. with all those explosive weapons. Both of them. Heal up now. Good. Multi-grenade is not something I want. Is it gonna be bottom left or bottom right? What do you think? I think bottom left. That's where we find the last reactor. And it is. Is there a super elite that I heard? No. Let's uh, still explore the rest of uh, this, this level, which is just gonna be this area right here. And uh, we find a couple of dudes with Rocket launchers once again. We are going to be at full HP utilizing the uh, free heal that we get. Mm -hmm. So, vision. Do we want that? Yes. We really really want this over over the other one we don't have any other transport item there's a new pulse shocker which costs less energy to use or less ep per second this one's actually stronger though 31 31 what is now here's the thing, this one of course is already boosted, which is why it is stronger than the other two that we have available. And so I think I'm gonna boost it a little bit more. I want that. I might want that if I don't get anything else. A pulse beam. Tell you what, that's actually better because it has the same shot damage, it has the same fire rate, it has the same DPS um, and uses like 1 EP per second more um, but it's not boosted yet, it has more potential left in it so uh, we have a couple of rocket launchers available all of which are just equally strong so I'm gonna prefer those over the turbo railgun Gonna boost you. Um, to eighty-five DPS. Actually, I don't think it's worth it now. I should I should stop boosting weapons this early. Oh my god! Why did I go to the frostbite area? This is gonna be scary. 
Yeah, I should I should not boost weapons this early when I'm just gonna dump them off the next level. If I get a special weapon, something like a light ref, a fat beam, maybe even a gatling, then or a big shocker that's also a pretty good this is a really good weapon with a lot of potential damage. Yeah, I should boost that and scrap everything else. I should not have spent as many scraps as I have so far on boosting weapons I'm not gonna use for, for a long time. Mind you, I'm not gonna use the big shocker for a long time either. But I am probably gonna be able to use it until and including the boss fight. Unless I get something even better. On a level just before the boss fight. Tell you what, I'm gonna use the big shocker for the next level. Again, assuming I don't get anything even better. Um, and if the next level, which is the which is already the, the last level before the boss, I think, if that doesn't drop me anything better. Instead of trying my luck on crafting new weapons, I'm gonna boost a uh, big chakra. And that was this level already. It's, that went by pretty, pretty goddamn quickly. Uh, gonna repair. Oh, that's so good. Damn it. I need a new mover. Like, so much should be clear. This one's even better. And uses less energy. But the big shocker. Yeah, that does so much damage. What do I use as my secondary? No shotgun, obviously. No multi grenade. No twin plasma. Do I use the turbo railgun? No. Do I even need a secondary on this very next level? Probably not. Um, so tell you what, let's craft a new transport item. Which is probably good enough already, you know. Yeah. It's not fantastic, but it does the job. It gives me a bunch more HP. Uh, no, I don't want to go with self-destruct. Um, furnace? Sure. Only one reactor? Oh man, it's gonna be top right probably? Fat beam, oh yes. This is what I want to use against the boss then. And what am I gonna use as my secondary? This doesn't feel like it, it shoots almost as quickly as the pulse shocker that we used to have. Un uh, unlike what was indicated like shots per second on this thing was indicated 7.4 and on the pulse shocker it was 7.7 .7. but this doesn't feel as quick right and we got that thing we got another rocket launcher as well hmm. I am still gonna decide on what primary I want to use because 
if the fat beam uses a ridiculous amount of uh, energy per second and I can't justify taking it over the big shocker. These guys are fast on those, uh, on those uh, actual bands when they're uh, utilizing them properly. just leave here did we actually take any damage on it normally yeah one one let's repair that okay don't need this don't need anything else here I uh, do want that for more HP what happens if I boost this one and get four EP no HP ex no extra HP out of that I'll tell me what that's not worth it if I boost this, then I gain 10 HP. That could be very useful. Um, pulse, pulse Shocker. The fat... Oh, that uses so much energy. Yeah. It's also super strong, though. Oh, man. That one, that one, that. Here's our three options. The big shocker, and probably the pulse shocker is the better option compared to the pulse sh shocker or oh, to the big shocker. And then we're gonna take this over that. Um, do I take. How much would this improve? 38. We can boost it a couple more times though. So yeah, I think that's better than the fat beam which will just uh, run out of energy very quickly hurts me to do this but um, boost it again boost it again boost it again 691 DPS now that's awesome now what I need is a new mover or I need a new I need to boost it. No, it's it's not that good. Is that better? Yes. Am I gonna boost this as well? Yeah, I think that's actually worth it for 11 extra HP. And more speed as well? Yeah, sure. And more HP because why not can we boost it one more time yeah we can that gives us even more speed okay now now we're talking now we're talking this is this is looking good I'm gonna I'm gonna be even more disappointed if I die now and but I of course can't guarantee that I win Do keep in mind that our secondary weapon is not that strong right now. Oh, we did a lot of damage already. And we beat him. Wow. Okay, so this is how you're supposed to to do things. Boost everything before the boss fight and then just destroy him. We didn't get any scraps. We didn't get anything really from that boss fight. But um yeah, at least we got past it now. So there's the first reactor already. Like the pulse shocker st should still be good damage-wise here. 
We got a beam too. If I can keep boosting my my uh, pulse shocker and my mover as well, then we should be in a fine spot. Uh, HP wise as well, and we don't really need to take another mover until a lot later because I don't think we're gonna just find one naturally that's better than the one we have anytime soon. Okay, so we destroyed the second reactor. Doing fine right now, doing really fine. Um, but that can change. This this game is it, it oftentimes looks like you're you're doing well, and then all of a sudden something hits you and you don't know what it was and you're dead. It could be a super elite with a mini nuke somewhere, of course. That that's always possible. Oh, those two were right right next to each other. If we don't get a better secondary weapon here, I'm gonna upgrade my rocket launcher as well, because you know a rocket launcher is a is a fine secondary. And the one advantage it has over a mini nuke is that the projectiles uh, travel a lot faster. Uh wait. Yeah this one oh look at that HP. Beam of smoking uses a lot more energy, so it's not worth it. The pulse beam, that's actually really strong already. I should consider this. First I'm gonna scrap you, scrap you, scrap you, and you. Is it worth... How much is the next... But it would give me so much more damage. I'm gonna take this. And then I'm gonna take the uh, boost there. And I can't even afford to boost my rocket launcher once. Let's go to the sewer. And uh, see what we can do here. This thing is gonna be out of control right now. This pulse shocker. 800 DPS while using a very little energy compared to anything else that would do this much damage like the only thing i can really think of is a is either a gatling or a fat beam apart from that i don't, don't really think anything would come close to this dps Okay, so I think I got it now. I, I got the recipe for how you play this game now. If you got one weapon you like, boost it. Scrap everything else and invest the scrap for, uh, for more boosts until you get something that really is a lot better than what you already have. Because whenever you pick up one weapon, it is designed to, to be viable for the next level pretty much only because uh, because enemy, uh, enemy HP obviously scales as the game goes on. However, if you boost the weapon, you can increase its DPS and uh, make it viable for a lot longer without needing uh, without worrying about the replacement. Tell you what, I'm probably gonna boost this as well.
because I want extra power on my uh, on my skill. Mm, whoa! Okay, that's a generator though. Can't use that, unfortunately. Um, transport. We're not gonna worry about that at all. Penetrator, railgun, auto gun, auto gun. Nade launcher, nade launcher, and uh, nothing else. I'm gonna boost this now. So now one shot does 480, 485 damage. Uh, can, I up, can I boost this? No, I cannot. I cannot craft anything either, so let's go. We're making, we're making progress towards the second boss already, and uh, more than I'd actually like to. Because I don't think that this Pulse Shocker is going to be strong enough to take down the second boss as well. It did a fantastic job against the first one, of course. Against the second one, who will presumably have a lot more HP. It might not be as good. beam I wonder how much scrap I would get out of um, scrapping this pulse beam would I get like the regular amount of scraps that I would get from using that I would get from just uh, trashing it before upgrading it or do I get a lot more because I boosted it so much is not something I can use. It's a long corridor, but let's check top right first. Maybe this is where the reactor is. That, that guy just did the Neuro Voider smiley. Mm. Let's see. We will also see just how strong the Pulse Beam already is that we picked up. Because if it's less than, let's say, 600 DPS, and I'm probably not going to reach uh, the same level of DPS that I have in a Pulse Shocker. Even if I, uh, with boosting it, uh, even if I scrap the Pulse Shocker and uh, get a decent amount of scraps out of it, because it's, it's so expensive to boost weapons. Good. Heavy Duty Plasma, that's a fantastic primary. And I will definitely take that over the Pulse Beam. But do I take it over this Pulse Shocker? Can I make this stronger? Holy Grenade is an awesome secondary, which I will obviously take in favor of this uh, rocket launcher. There's a little bit more of this level still left. Got a Gatling. Do I take that or the heavy duty plasma? That'll depend on the energy consumption, probably. Let's heal up first and then leave. Looking good so far. This is certainly the best run I've had since I restarted the series. Okay, that's better. Core. This is also quite a lot better.
How much? How much would I get out of it? Oh, wait, that's uh. The Gatling is so strong, but it uses so much energy. The holy grenade is gonna be our secondary. That's there's no dispute over that. Um, dump this off. The heavy duty plasma. Wait, am I on? That's this one. Okay. This does. This does so much damage. Um. Yeah, heavy duty plasma. It also uses just so much energy. Long flame pro, I don't want. This uses just half as much EP per second as this does. Don't want the real gun, don't want regular plasma guns, don't want flamethrowers, don't want grenade launchers. Okay, now we have a couple of options. This... This seems like the worst of the bunch. Let's equip this now and see how much scrap do we get. Oh, it's beautiful. Yeah. Now, heavy duty plasma or pulse beam. How much scrap do we get for this 188? For this 282. I'm gonna go with the pulse beam simply because it uses just half the energy per second from the heavy duty plasma. And now I'm gonna upgrade the sucker. 1116. 1278 okay let's do this oh we're not on a bus yet god if i pick up a fat beam now or a light raft i'm gonna kick myself i'm gonna hate myself because i really thought we were gonna fight the boss now but there is one more level before that this is a light ref. No, it's a Gatling. I'm gonna shoot every prop so you can get as many drops as possible. So that if the if I decide I wanna keep the pulse beam that I picked up here, which I probably do, I can also afford to upgrade it quite a lot. There's a machine gun which could be really good against the boss. Look at my HP, by the way. 264, have I ever had this much? Well, certainly not since I re restarted the series. But yeah, before that I probably did have this much health on one or two runs. Because I generally made it a lot further on the regular. still try and kill every single thing on this level including you and you to get as much loot out of it as we possibly can okay and there's there's where we started i think yeah let's just teleport now oh okay this is bad this is not gonna give us more hp The EP regeneration of this thing is much better. This would give us plus 23 HP though. And more EP. Yeah, let's take that. Transport. No, nothing new here. How much would this last upgrade cost? Not very much actually. And it would make it a lot stronger. 
So that's certainly something I should like, definitely consider. So is this. Tell me what scrap this for now. Um, heavy Gatling of Mother Breaking. He's just so much EP for a second. So does this. Pulse Chakra is weaker than a Pulse Beam. It's worth noting. Yeah, I'm gonna go all out on this Pulse Beam. And then I'm gonna go and upgrade you as well. Now, do keep in mind that this is now weaker than the Pulse Beam we had before. God damn it! But we have more HP. We have a lot more HP than on the previous boss fight. It's Frostbite, come on. did not do very much damage at all to those are frag grenades that he's spitting out in such a tight area frag grenades are just awful well that was a lot better though hope you guys enjoyed this episode leave a like or a comment if you did thank you for watching i'll see you next time